Hi guys, it's Primrose and welcome back. So this is the um, house plus that I don't get to see a lot. Um, <clears throat> only because it's outside our home. Um, this space here is actually in um, the landing area and um, I do not want to waste the space. This is a south facing window so it gets a good um, amount of direct sunlight um, all throughout the morning. I apologize for the um, the light is blinking and I think it's gonna go off anytime and hopefully it um, will not hurt your eyes while watching the video and um, yeah so I spend about 10-15 minutes um, every day just walking around and um, you know admiring my plants the flowers to the new growth and um, it's very uh, therapeutic and um, some people they reach out for their phones upon waking up in the morning this is what I do I think it's one of those things in life that um, is a source of positive energy and I like it a lot. Um, so I have this beautiful flower at the moment. This is my Glyvia Miniata. And I would like to think that it likes it here. This area gets really cold. Although it does not get down to below 5 degrees and um, Celsius. Because um, if it's indoor and the temperature is a lot warmer, the flower stalk doesn't get very long. As we can see from this old flower stalk here, I never get around to cutting this off and... Um, it produced a single seed pod and I think I'm going to uh, let it mature and see if I can grow it um, I can grow more from seeds hmm. I have a couple of plants here that are not doing really well um, for some reason my amaryllis last year they really um, gave me a really good display of flowers but this year it's not doing anything I have a, I have a handful of amaryllis and um, they're not really blooming this year so this is a cymbidium and hopefully in the spring it will produce some beautiful flowers and um, I'm not sure I might not be getting a good amount of um, bright light so we'll see how it will go this one is one of the very first house plant that i have this is a aloe from my friend cutting and the flowers are now beginning to drop off and um i took out a lot of um, babies from this one and gave it gave them out to friends so I don't know why I um, took some cuttings from a friend of this one this is a sedum autumn joy and it's a hardy um, kind of succulent um, it grows outside in the cold so this is just a spent flower Definitely have to repot this. The pot is too big for this, um, for the plants, and I could, um, it could get risk of overwatering. So I repotted this in the late summer last year, hurriedly, and I did not really think how to put them. All up nicely so this is a 
more than two year old echeveria and um, I've been growing it indoor and it's really large now and um, so it managed to see to stay in a uh, like compact indoor so I really like that and I think that blinking that blinking light really bothers me and I, I apologize so this is a common koi Trisiflora I think it's huge now and um, I had to cut off some of the bottom leaves so the other plants could get a really good amount of sunlight as well so in the summer it can um, develop a good pink tinge color on the sides and this is a Kalamkoi Madagascar um, so I have a lot of babies there I always like that uh, print it looks like an animal print on the undersides of the leaves so this is another variety of Kalamkoi and it's beginning to get that um, purple color now that we are getting more um, sunny days and another type of Echeveria that I really like because it managed to uh, get that compact form um, indoor and it's pushing out um, those buds so this is from Olga from uh, Greece she sent me that one as well I think this is a Macronta Cotyledon and it was a tiny cutting and now it has grown so much so definitely I have to repot this and um, another type of aloe I think from Olga as well and it's beginning to get that uh, color um, I am excited for spring um, so this is a just a very common type of begonia it's a scented one and so I don't have a lot in this area but definitely this is I just tried to squeeze in a lot of plants in that pot and um, yeah so I'm really excited for spring so do you guys do the same thing and um, just have a walk around and appreciate the plants the lush leaves or the flowers like this one I'm so loving this one um, thank you guys so much for watching and take care bye